Okay, it's not very often that you come across a good video game based movie. Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Free Guy, the film starring Ryan Reynolds based on an artificial character in a video game space that becomes self-aware and starts to do good things because he wants to. This actually is a very good video game movie, and not in terms of being based off of anything. And the first thing I've got to credit this film with is that it's written by people who actually know video games and have at least played some. Not a Hollywood executive who thinks he knows what video games are. Are some of the things that that they grab at kind of low-hanging fruit when it comes to like the streamers and whatnot that they feature in this movie. Yeah, there's streamers in this movie. I thought that was a little bit interesting. Um, I know that some of the kids behind me got all excited when some of them appeared, especially the Irish looking one. But that's kind of the idea behind this movie is that it's loyal to what it's based on and the tropes and the fan bases and everything that comes along with it. But it doesn't rely off of those things. And it's probably one of the reasons why I like this movie more than Ready Play one. Now for those of you who haven't seen that film or read the book, both of them heavily rely off of nostalgia and elements from many other pieces of media. And I found that without those, the story would have been bland. This one does have a bland story and it does have video game elements in it, but it doesn't rely off of those references. And it's because it doesn't rely off of those things that the times that they are featured, these pretty clear as day references to other pieces of media, they hit well because you haven't been spoon fed them in droves throughout the entire film. And when I say the story's bland, it's, it's something you've kind of really seen before. It's the idea of these people who want to get back at this big bad corporation for essentially sidelining them and stealing their code and kind of just sip and jipping them. All the while they're actually being helped by a AI entity within the game that they are playing that actually becomes self-aware and wants to do the right thing. So that AI entity helps them combat the actual evil both in the video game as well as in real life. And oh, oh hi Tron. Oh I didn't see you there. Oh wait. I'm sorry, that's exactly the script that I was talking to you about. That, that's what this movie is. It's essentially, it's Tron. If you've never seen the classic Tron film, it's not that great. It hasn't aged well. But in terms of the tech that it had when it came out, it was pretty groundbreaking. And this movie had a pretty cool premise to it. And admittedly, Free Guy does take a lot from it. But it does have that very, very welcome cup of... Ryan Reynolds. The guy is the star of this movie and he's a goddamn Canadian national treasure for many reasons. This is one of them. Is he playing a variation of his Deadpool character? I just kind of think that he's playing a variation of himself to be honest and I'm all for it. I love his quips. I love his interactions with the characters in this film. I love his purpose to the story and funnily enough too I actually really like the side characters in this film even though some of them are kind of you know, just a few steps above stereotypes are just one note characters. I still really enjoyed them. And I even really enjoy Taika Wahidi as the villain in this film. He's the big corrupt kind of EA looking dude. I really wish now thinking about it that they had done some sort of Andrew Wilson joke. He's pretty enjoyable, even though he's a swarmy douchebag in the movie. You enjoy his presence in this film. And that's kind of another key of this movie is that everything is wholesomely enjoyable. I enjoyed the laughs, I enjoyed the action scenes, I enjoyed the cameos, I enjoyed everything. I had a fairly good time throughout. While the story doesn't have exactly any strong points, it's still going on a line that is enjoyable enough that you will have a fun time in watching it. The visuals are really, really cool. The fact that this movie finally came out. This movie took forever to come out and the fact that Ryan Reynolds constantly kept joking about the fact that it was never coming out but it was constantly being delayed by COVID was pretty funny and it would help kind of build the awareness for this film. Either way, I was laughing throughout the entire movie. My friends had a good time, I had a good time. This movie will give you a good time. So in the end, I'm going to give Free Guy a 5 out of 7. I very much enjoyed it. It was a surprise to me because I thought it was going to be something barely above passable. But in the end, it was actually a pretty standout movie. And it's definitely one that should be seen for 2021. In the end, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz. And you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads.
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.